Well, here we are, final league game of the season, and what a what a mad season it's been. And for some kind of miracle, Panthers find themselves still within a chance of making the, the final eight and making the postseason. I'm outside the Bunkers Hill, been here for about hour and a half now. Had a couple of games of creep with Adam. Uh, the pub's starting to fill up now. Uh, the music's blaring. We didn't get to see any of the old firm game. Oh well, not not the fault. Not fussed about that. But... Yeah, it's the calm before the storm. Very very nervous for obvious reasons. Um, bottom line is Panthers just need to win. Let's just win, uh, and then we can have the joy of sitting through Twitter refreshes, sorry, X refreshes um, in the pub after the game. Um, no idea how I feel about it. Manchester missing a couple of players, I understand. Old Dale's starting. Uh, Critchlow's out, missing an import or two as well. So Panthers actually with a full roster for the second game running um, versus Manchester on the plus skaters down, which you think would give us a massive advantage, but um, yeah, we've been here and done that before, so we'll see. Uh, more later. the first it is 1-1 uh, awful 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 start um, exactly the start that we didn't want leaving a man all alone in the slot and he's a uh, roof it pass not a lot rock could do um, Manchester have turned up they've turned up to play um, and I would say we've been the better of the first in that first period we've you know we've looked to work old a little bit more but again like that the problem's been all season going forward we've looked for the past when we should be shooting a um, couple of two on one chances where Manscaped's in and I'm you know sat next to Paul as, as, as I normally am and um, they're never looking for the shot they're always looking for the pass <sighs> equaliser was huge what, what a what, what a what a goal from Henbrand Shows his turn of pace, which he, we know we've had it in a more season. Dangles his way through the Manchester defence and then slots it past. Exactly what we needed because, ironically, I think Adams put a, a, a message out on, on X about the atmosphere and the atmosphere in here tonight has been like before the game, just everybody, everybody's dialed in. But Manchester kind of sucked the life out of the arena for so sort of five, maybe ten minutes. You know, their fans were the only ones that were singing. Um, I think everybody's obviously really, really nervous. But the thing is, I've been nervous all day, uh, but it doesn't matter if we don't win. We can be, you know. So what's the what? Why why get nervous? We've got to win first before we then you know have the nerves kick in. But uh, yeah, we need we need more in that second period. Bit of luck. Um, I must say the uh, video that the Panthers played just before the game started with basically all you know, the players saying thank you to the fans. Um, we've, we've been messaging around in our groups. Uh, people have been chopping onions, I think. There's a lot of lot of, uh, lot of moisture in the old eye, eyes um, after that. <sighs> Can we do it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I suppose we'll see. Uh, yeah. Let's can go. Second period, and it's still tied 2-2 this time. Goal apiece. Still in took the puck. Um, not quite sure how we'll level after that because Manchester by far the better team, I think. We look nervous. Manchester have come to play. They uh, want to make up for losing in their own farm last night. Um, Oldell's playing really well. 
what is it with Panthers and British back up to that? Jesus. Put some bloody rubber on him, you know? Um, but yeah, late, late equaliser. Um, about two minutes to go at the end of the second from Matthew Lemin. Manchester weren't happy about it. There was a massive crack, like the puck came off a stick or, or somebody stick it the post or something like that. Manchester. I mean, Manchester's official Twitter is saying that old L's blocked. I don't know. The goal was given, it wasn't even reviewed. Loads of pups flying on the L's. Potentially our last 20 minutes of the season ahead. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm back in the pub. Uh, I didn't stay around at the final whistle. Um, unfortunately, I had a bit of a stumble last week when going out in a crowd, which reminded me why I always leave bang on full time so I can just get down the steps before there's a rush. Um, Panthers won. The Panthers won in overtime. Um, Unfortunately, the other results aren't going our way at the moment. As it stands, we're ninth. Clan uh, are getting pumped at home by yeah. the Devils, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, Blaze and Blaze and Dundee are both winning. Andy's just showing me the score now. So, Blaze are three to Dundee are two nil up now. Pin out. Come on, five. It was a bloody favour, you wankers. So now the next. Half hour, 45 minutes is going to be sat in the pub, nobody talking to each other, everybody looking at the phones going refresh, refresh, refresh. We've done what we, we've done all we can do this weekend. Um, yeah, we'll see where we are. We're obviously podcasting in a bit, we just don't know. Arna's just bumped her head. Yeah, we'll see where we are in uh, period of time, I suppose. Probably nice. Uh, continues to break. So here's to the people that we lost. Here's to the people we're going to gain. And here's to the hockey. I'm now home um, after a ridiculously emotional night or afternoon and day at the hockey. Um, WrestleMania is just starting. Uh, they've just had the, well, not the National Anthem of America, the beautiful stuff. But once again, um, people I've never heard of. I suppose if you're American, you do. Um, we've had a really good podcast. A really good podcast. Um, it went on for a long time. I think we hit probably an hour and 40 minutes today. Um, which obviously, you know, we normally stick to about three quarters of an hour. Um, but it was it was nice. It was nice. Uh, we had basically a eulogy of um, how the season had finished. Um, I tried, to, and you know, I was I was half hoping on on, on start this like stupid vlog thing today um, with a small small hope that I would be finishing the day missing WrestleMania because we're gonna be out all night. I even I even put plan I'm off tomorrow. I'm off work tomorrow so I thought oh, I can watch wrestling I can watch it on to on uh, catch up tomorrow. Um I thought we might be uh, the smallest chance that we were gonna be uh, celebrating today. Um it's not to be. Not to be. Um I, I, I mean, Stephanie McMahon's on the telly and like thanking the fans and stuff like that. And basically, she's she's going to be saying um, about WrestleMania and about the WWE fans and, 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 and stuff. No different to what we've said on the podcast tonight about the Panthers and the Panthers fans um, and what have you. Um, Playoff weekend is going to be what it usually is. It's going to be bloody carnage. Um I'd love Co uh, Coventry to do with this now. 
uh, in memory of uh, Delkin. If anybody can come close to where we well, where we felt this season, it's definitely Coventry, and they deserve just the hugest amount of love and respect for carrying on um, after what happened. So I'm going to close this um, today. Um, I might try this again at playoffs. I don't know. I'll close this today, but thanking everybody who has been part of this season, the players, the fans, my friends, the fellowship, you know who you are. I genuinely struggle to choose my favourite moment of the season today. Um, ended up choosing the fact that we... What? I was like, Bob Piper's playing. I thought Roddy Piper was coming. I thought Roddy Piper died. I remember I was out on that night. Anyway, I'm finishing now. Um, good luck to everybody that's left for playoffs. Um, enjoy it. Playoff week, final week, and let's have it. And uh, let's end this horrible hockey season on a massive high. I just hope Sheffield don't do the Grand Slam. <laughs>